Precious Hearts Romances. El Paraíso by Martha Cecilia. Copyright 2005 by Precious Pages Corporation. Narrated by Maria Jasmine C. Sanchez. Chapter 17 Hindi malaman ni Michelle ang gagawin. This was no ordinary child's tantrums. Catherine was getting hysterical. Promise her you won't leave her. What? Just promise her. The voice held command. Pinaglipat-lipat nito ang tingin sa anak at sa kanya. But, but I don't make promises I can't keep. Naguguluhang sabi niya. Sa likuran ay naririnig na niya ang lumalakas na iyak ng bata na may kasamang sigaw. You can't do that to your child, Adrian. I will see to it that you will keep your promise. Now, tell her you won't leave. He commanded harshly. Si Catherine ay nakasiksik sa sulok ng upuan habang pasigaw na umiiyak. Her small body was shivering. She would have asked what he meant by that, but she was stunned by the harshness and urgency of his voice. And Catherine's cry was getting to scare her. Nakita niyang natataranta rin si Adrian na hindi malaman ang gagawin sa anak. Pagkaway lumabas siya ng sasakyan at umikot sa bahagi ng bata. Binuksan niya ang pinto at pumasok. She took the shivering girl in her arms and rocked her gently. I won't leave, honey. Promise. She kissed her crown. And I don't make promises I can't keep. Hush now, Katie. Hindi sumagot ang bata pero ilang sandali pa'y unti-unting humihina ang pag nito. But she could still feel the child shivering. Maya-maya pa'y tuluyan na itong huminto pero hindi kumawala sa pagkakayakap sa kanya. Adrian breathed a sigh of relief. Pagkaway pabagsak na inihilig nito ang ulo sa headrest. Narinig ni Michelle ang marahang pagpukpuk nito sa manibela. She could feel the anguish then saw it. Mahabang sandaling na natili silang tatlo sa ganong ayos. Naguguluhang itinuon ni Michelle ang paningin sa labas ng sasakyan. Patuloy pa rin ang mahinahong ambon. Hindi niya alam kung ano ang iisipin o kung ano ang ipinangako niya o kung paano niya yon matutupad. A couple of minutes later, kumawala si Catherine. Umangat ang muka at hinaggan siya sa pisngi. Panatag na itong umiti at pagkatapos ay bumaba ng sasakyan na parang walang nangyari. Don't stray, honey. Sagot ni Adrian at nilingon ng bata na lumakad papanhik sa bulubundukin. Napahawak sa upuan ni Adrian si Michelle. Umaambon. Besides, she could get hurt. Adrian turned. Their faces almost touched and her brain short circuited as his warm breath fanned her cheek. She couldn't collect her thoughts. Banayad niyang inilayo ang sarili. Mahina ang buwan lang yan at natitiya ko maglulunay sa pool si Catherine. Huwag ka magalala. Walang mangyayari sa kanya. Malimit kami rito kapag may panahon ako. This is her favorite place and she was referring to the pool just a few yards away not the waterfall. May dalisdis ng tubig sa lugar na yon. Isa pa ay marunong siyang sumunod sa mga babala. Her face flushed. Alam niyang tinutukoy nito ang ginawa niyang pagtungo sa mga batuhan. Bumitiw siya sa likuran ng upuan nito at sumandal. Sinulyapan ang dinaanan ng bata na hindi na niya matanaw dahil na itago na ng malalagong halamang gubat at damo. Ibinalik niya ang tingin kay Adrian. What was that all about? Adrian sighed wearily. Sa Maynila ay pinanganak at lumaki si Catherine Michelle. Pero malimit siya rito, kasama ni Beverly. She was a three years old when she saw Fred fall from the stairs and died. A child's mind is resilient. Madaling makalimot. But less than a year later, Bev died in drowning accident at the resort. Tulad mo ay nagtungo siya sa batuhang yun at nalimutan ng oras. 
Napahugot ng hininga si Michelle. No wonder he was so angry with her yesterday. Nakadama siya ng bahagyang panalamig. Nagpatuloy si Adrian. Sa pamantayan ko at ng iba ay maaring hindi naging mabuting ina si Beverly kay Catherine. But she was still her mother. Nang mamatay siya ay naroon si Harriet para kay Catherine. Sa maikling panahon ay napalapit sa isa't isang dalawa. Higit sa pagiging malapit nila ni Beverly. Harriet had been mother and grandmother rolled into one and spoiled my daughter rotten. Amusement and weariness laced his voice. Then, three months ago, Harriet disappeared, and Catherine was once more devastated. She took it hard this time. May mga gabing sumisigaw siya sa pagtulog at hinahanap si Harriet. That's an disappearance. Paano ba kinakaya ng isang musmos ang sunod-sunod na pagkawala ng mga mahal sa buhay? Confused and worried, she went out of the vehicle. Cool and fragrant air and drizzles caressed her skin. She shivered a little. Sumilong siya sa lilim ng isang puno na tumubo di kalayuan sa bangin at sumandal doon. Narinig niya ang pagbaba ni Adrian sa sasakyan. Ilang hakbang mula sa kinatatayuan ni Michelle ay huminto si Adrian at pinagmasdan nito. At first glance, you would thought her plain. Only when you had taken a closer look that you would see that she had something that made her so pretty. She appeared so princessish. Ang buhok nitong tila corkscrew ay inililipad ng hangin at pilit nitong sinusupil palayo sa muka. She had a small pert nose and a lush mouth that seemed to invite men to kiss her. She had skin as soft and warm as her smile. And after last night, he knew he wanted her more than just easy and fast sex. Hindi siya nakatitiya kung ano yun, but he was damn sure going to find out and enjoy it. Her eyes sparkled like a thousand watt fluorescent when she smiled. Pero naka-off ngayon ang kislap sa mga mata nito. She looked bewildered, confused, and he was responsible for that. You made me promise not to leave her, Adrian. Don't you think she would be emotionally shattered once I... She would be if you leave. He said from behind and walked toward her. Humanap ito sa kanya. Her eyes were clouded. Adrian, kailangan ko na umuwi ngayon. Muli ay pinutol niya ang sinasabi nito. Saan ka uuwi, Michelle? Wala ka na ng mga magulang. Wala ka na ring boyfriend. Anong babalikan mo sa Maynila? Adrian, contrary to what you think, I am not a rich woman. She said in bewilderment, Having a new car doesn't make me wealthy. Between me and poverty is more or less 70,000 pesos in the bank. A little knowledge of the law got me my mother's Nissan X trail. My... My father's lawyer promised me a job as soon as I get back. And there are also things that I need to attend to. Let me ask you this, Michelle. And please answer me honestly. Kaya mo bang mahalin ang anak ko? Lalo nang lumalim ang kunot sa noon nito sa tanong niya. Ah, anong ibig mo sabihin? Sagutin mo ng totoo ang tanong ko. Ay! I'm an only child, Adrian. I have always longed for a sibling. Pero hindi nagkaanak pang muli si mama dahil sa, sa isang aksidente. Loving Catherine would be easy. And I love her already and that is why I don't want to hurt her. At wala kang karapatang papangakuin ako sa anak mo ng ganun. May bahit na galit ang tinig nito sa huling sinabi. Gaano kahalaga ang pagpipinta sa'yo? Adrian! Ano bang ibig sabihin ng mga tanong mo? Ano bang kinalaman niya sa pag-alis ko? Of course, I love my painting. Nangangarap ako maging isang mahusay na painter bahalang araw at makapagtayo ng sariling gallery at magkaroon na exhibits. Adrian stared at her for a long time. Then, I will offer you a job that would allow you to paint, Michelle. Trabaho magagawa mo ang lahat ng gusto mong gawin at kasabay niyo na malaya kayong dalawa ni Catherine na mahalin ng isa't isa. I could even create a small gallery for you at the hotel for your paintings. Or if you want, sa Oliver Building. Sa sandaling may matapos na kontrata sa mga umuupa sa ibaba. Her frown deepened as she gazed at him. Then the frown ceased and slowly, 
A smile curved her lips. Tulad sa isang bulaklak na unti-unting namumukadkad. A nanny. You want me to be Catherine's nanny? She wrinkled her nose. Sandaling nag-isip. Nilinga ang buong paligid. Patuloy ang mahinahong pag-ambon na tila hindi nila namamalayan ngayong mamasama sana ang mga katawan nila at kasuotan. Muli itong humarap sa kanya. May mga mumunting patak ng ambon sa hibla ng buhok nito at kumikislap na tila liquid silver. You are right. Maliban sa ilang dapat ayusin sa Maynila ay wala naman talaga akong babalikan. And I very much liked the thought that I could paint and have a gallery of my own. That is very tempting, Adrian. Well, just let me think about it tonight. I will call my father's lawyer and... I am not offering you a nanny job, darling. You are not? Nagtatanong ang mga mata nito. A tutor then? I am offering you to be my wife and Katie's mother. Her eyes went wide. A wife? Marry me today, tomorrow, no later than a week. At kung ano man ang dapat mong ayusin sa Maynila ay ipaubaya mo sa akin. My lawyer will take care of everything. She could have been more shocked if he told her to jump over the ravine. He was offering her to be his wife. Sa tonong, nag-aalok ito ng isang normal na trabaho sa isang kwalipikadong empleyado. Pero hindi ba at sinabi lang nito na iyon ay isang trabaho? Ang tanging kaibahan ay magpapakasal sila. And he was doing it for Catherine. He was willing to sacrifice his freedom for her daughter. She had never experienced a father's love. And the thought that Adrian was willing to sacrifice his freedom for his daughter touched her heart. That tears burned her eyes. It is only a job, Michelle. And you need it right now. I don't think someone would offer you a better job than the one I just offered you. Unless having your own gallery doesn't appeal to you. Arrogant as you may sound, I do agree with you. Anya na bahagyang nakabawi sa pagkamangha. She blinked her tears away and smiled at him. You really love your daughter, don't you? Her face softened and she wasn't even aware of how pretty she looked. She's the love of my life, Michelle. Gagawin ko ang sa palagay ko'y makakapagpaligaya sa kanya. And as I can see it, ikaw yun. Bumalik ang kalituhan sa mukha nito. But why me, Adrian? Why not Norian? Sa pagkakaintindi ko ay ikaw ang gusto ni Mrs. Bellarmino na mapangasawa ng anak niya. Nabanggit niyang mga bata pa kayo ay pinagkasundo na kayo sa isa't isa noong nabubuhay pa ang papa at mama mo. I don't want people to decide what is and what is not good for my life, Michelle. He said with a little edge in his voice. Well, my daughter is another matter. Kung sinabi ni Catherine na gusto niya maging mami si Norian, then I would have offered for her a long time ago. Walang problema. That would make everybody happy. But as it is, my daughter's happiness counts the most, lalo na sa kalagayan niya ngayon. And it is obvious that she cares for you. Bagay na hindi niya ipinakita kanino man maliban sa Aunt Harriet niya. She was speechless. Muli siyang napatingin sa dagat na tila ba hinahanap doon ang mga kasagutan sa sirkumstansyang kinakaharap. Tahimik ang dagat. Naaaninag niya ang bahagyang galaw ng tubig, sanhi na mahinang ambon. Hindi mo makikita sa karagatan ng kapasyahan, Michelle. He said amused, accurately reading her thoughts. What does marrying you entail? She asked quickly. He grinned triumphantly. At hindi siya makapaniwalang nahinto ang paghinga niya nang dahil lang sa ngiti nito. His eyes took a slow, lazy trip down her body, lingered a while on her breast, and went back to her face that heat suffers through her body. The job I am offering you is a wife, Michelle. So it entails everything. Most importantly, the bad part. He said huskily as his eyes kept on staring at her lips. Her cheeks pinked. She started when Adrian's hand reached for her name and pulled her against him. I believe this will make you decide faster. His mouth closed the distance between them and came down on hers. Her blood was racing. 
Her heart beat a thousand miles a minute as Adrian's mouth did a gentle exploration. Unlike last night, his kiss was slow, longerous, as if they had all the time in the world. Naparabang nasa loob sila ng isang silid at nakatayo sa gilid ng kama sa halip na sa gilid ng isang matarik na bangin. Sa gitna ng marahong ulan, in the middle of earth and sky, at the first feel of Adrian's tongue parting her lips, Michelle's heart beat triple time. Dexter had kissed her many times already. Dexter's kisses had been a little bit arousing, pero nagagawa niyang kontrolin yun. Nagagawa niyang pahupain ang anumang namamagitan sa kanila. Paanong tila kakaiba pagdating sa lalaking ito? Paanong hindi niya gustong huminto sa Adrian? The heat that consumed her seemed to be out of control, scorching her. Itinaas niya ang kamay niya sa leeg nito at tumugon ng halik. Expertly, his hand positioned her head at just the right angle for the most powerful impact. His tongue explored the inside of her mouth and kissed her with controlled hunger, taking his own sweet time. The process seemed to torture her. She realized Dexter was a novice compared to this man. Tulad kagabi, Adrian made her feel as if his mouth, his tongue, were her life source and she very much wanted to cling to them to survive. The scent of him, musky, intoxicating, filled her senses. The feel of his rough, unshaved cheeks against the soft skin of her face made her blood flow through her veins like liquid fire. She raised her hands and curled them around his neck, wanting more than just his kisses. She wanted his hands on her breast, wantonly. Shamelessly, idinikit niya na husto ang katawan sa katawan nito, pushing her breast against his chest. She felt the vibration of his lutter against her chest. Embarrassed, the thought of pushing him came to mind. Pero bago niya nagawa yun, ay tinig ni Catherine ang umalingaungaw sa kapaligiran. Daddy! Mommy! What's taking you so long? Pareho silang biglang kumawala sa isa't isa. At tiningon ang pinanggalingan ng tinig. Inaasahang nakita ni Catherine ang ginagawa nila. Pero hindi nila ito matanaw. Itinatago ito ng makakapal na damo. Ang kaseryosohan sa mukha ni Adrian ay bumalik ng titigan siya. Gustuhin man niya umiwas ng tingin ay hindi niya magawa. Tila may magneto ang mga mata nito at mahigpit na nakahinang sa kanya. Mommy. He said in a gruff voice. He reached out and let his fingers drift across her lower lip and touch the wetness there. Just a simple touch. At muli nitong sinindihan ang apoy sa katawan niya na gumuhit patungo sa may ibaba ng tiyan niya. Sinikap niyang huwag mapaigtad. My daughter is comfortable in calling you mommy. He said, I can only hope you won't be offended if she calls you that in public. Kapag kasal na tayo. Catherine's a couple of months over four years old, and people would think you must be 19 when you had her. I... I knew some classmates who got married at 15, a mother at 16, and... Is that a yes? She frowned. Uh, what? Will you accept the job I offered you? She blinked. Oh, yes, the job. Her body still tingled from his kisses. At kung iisipin niyang muli ang ipinaghahalimbawa niya rito kanina, his kisses seemed to be her life force. She thought then that she couldn't live without them. Let me sleep on it, she said huskily. Tomorrow you'll have my answer. He grinned sexily. In the meantime, mamaya pagbalik natin sa cottage ay ibigay mo sa akin ang mga necessities para sa pagkuha ko ng marriage license. Nanlaki ang mga mata niya. Ibig sabihin ay hindi siya binibigyan nito ng panahon. But, mauna ka nang puntahan si Catherine. I'll take out the picnic basket. He turned his back and walked toward the back of the pickup truck.